a great sleep. Hey, Diesel. Look at this. Say hi to everybody. Well, not a great night. Wow. I slept great. The temperature was just perfect. It's a little bit cold, but I like it when it's cold. Diesel, did you sleep good? Oh, I know you did. He was right beside me, just conked out the whole night. You were snoring, man. Snoring. That's okay. That's okay. As long as you're sleeping. Sleeping good, that's all that matters. Got to get all that sleep crud out of your eyes. There you go. There you go. Let's start the day. So we slept at this petrol pass in Laval, Quebec. Diesel. Come on, bud. Come here, bud. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Look at this. Blue skies, sunshine, weasels. trucks and diesel fuel. So I gotta pick up a load that's going to Winnipeg and it's just around the corner, literally. I was lucky enough to get a parking spot at this little truck stop last night. And we just gotta go around the corner. They gotta fill the trailer with stuff. And we're gonna bring that stuff that way. 2,300 kilometers, 23 hours of driving. I don't know what that is in miles. It's a long way. Let's see, 23 hours, 2,300 kilometers. Six, eight. My brain hurts, it's too early. All right, let's see if we can uh, squeeze out of this tiny little parking lot here. So this is one of those uh, shippers that doesn't want me on the dock. I'm fine with, you know. This whole sickness thing going around is actually, you know, giving me a chance to relax a bit more. Oh. Who's hogging the bed back here, man? Man, I don't gotta work. I, I gotta sit back here with you. How's it going, bud? They don't want me on the dock. Yeah, I gotta hang out here with you. You wanna have a nap? Yeah. Just gonna... Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Yep, that's good. That's good, yep. This is the life. They do all the work for me. So once we're out of here, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't even know what they're loading me with. I've never loaded here before. Guess it'll be a surprise. Hopefully it's all good stuff and not illegal stuff. <laughs> right, Diesel? No, that wouldn't happen. Uh, but yeah, once uh, we get done here, we're headed home. I'm gonna drive as far as I can today. I had such a good sleep this last night, so I'm feeling good today. We're gonna drive probably pretty late into the night, past midnight, and, uh, well, actually, if I drive past midnight, it comes off tomorrow's 24-hour period, right? The Canadian hours of service, I sort of explained it to you before. Uh, we can only drive 13 hours a day within a 24-hour period. So from my home terminal's time zone, from midnight to midnight the next day, I can only drive 13 hours. So if I drive till two in the morning, well, those two hours past midnight come off of my 13 hours the next 24 hour period. So you take that off, then I can only drive 11 hours before midnight the next night, right? So I, I usually like to stop at or around midnight, then it just, it just makes it easier, but we'll see what happens. I really wanna get home too, so. Got a lot of things to get done. Britt and her stepmom did an amazing job, like I was telling you yesterday, getting the house settled in, getting it ready for living in. But there's still a lot of stuff I gotta do when I get there, a lot of organizing and uh, more downsizing. 
Plus we have to have a fence built around our yard yet for the boys, so we're trying to get that done as quickly as possible as well. on the edge, uh, on the edge of the earth here. At the roundabout, take the second what? exit to kilometers. There's a roundabout? Quebec has really gotten really, uh, uh, really attached to the roundabouts as well. Uh, it all started with, with Wisconsin. I blame you, Wisconsin. You're the first one who started bringing in all these roundabouts in a big way. Now everybody's copying you. All right, you should have patented it. You could have made a lot of money. Though I'm sure it's already been patented or something in Europe because it all came from Europe. You know what, let's blame Europe. All right, we moved away from there to be different, to do things better. No, we're doing it the same way. I'm just kidding, guys, I'm just kidding. I don't mind the roundabouts that much. I don't like them as much as just a stop sign, but meh, maybe I'm just simple. Maybe I'm old school, I don't know. The beautiful fall colors are out though. And this rain, I hope it doesn't turn into snow. I don't think it will, it's still 15 degrees outside, so it's not too cold. Where's this roundabout? I keep seeing signs where, oh, here it comes. They warn us well in advance that it's coming because no one's expecting it. So pretty much, I wanna go straight. At the roundabout, take the second exit. You know what these roundabouts would be good for? Slowing down police chases. Though in Canada, we don't really have police chases like they do in the US. That's more of an American thing. But, uh, up here... Continue on this road for six kilometers. Up here they don't really chase. They'll take your license plate and they'll just go wait at your house. You gotta come home sooner or later, right? They don't want to put more people in danger by, like, encouraging a high-speed chase down the highway. But if there was one, you know, these roundabouts would sure end that quickly, eh? I've seen videos on YouTube where People who are drunk driving, I guess, fly right over the center of one of those and they just, it's like a jump. I think it's in Russia. All those crazy driving accidents happen in Russia. It's getting colder. It's seven degrees outside Celsius. We're uh, getting closer to the Ontario border. I'll show you where we are right now. Uh, there you go. Okay, you can sort of see it there. You can see my reflection, I get it. Uh, so there's the US, okay. There's the US, there's North America, we're above the Great Lakes, or coming up to the Great Lakes. Still in Quebec. I'm crossing Ontario right there. And then we're gonna drag ourselves all the way back home over here. We still have 1,860 kilometers to go. That's 
oh, 1100 miles or so that one it's a little easier to do the math on that and then they might have me deliver this into winnipeg on saturday if they'll accept me uh, which is good because then this truck is going into the shop for some maintenance and I'll be home for a good part of next week. We're gonna keep working on settling into the house. We have a whole bunch of stuff we need to organize yet. Lots to do. And plus, I just wanna spend some time at home because I haven't had any chance to do that yet since we moved. This is Malartic, Quebec. How do we know we're still in Quebec? How do we know we're still in a French town? Have you watched enough of my videos? There's the steeple. flashing lights we're still in Quebec we're getting closer to Ontario but we're still in Quebec here I think they're slowly letting us go around oh an ambulance is just arriving on scene now okay a, I see a police vehicle two or three police vehicles a tow truck the ambulance just got here being over the road you get to see all kinds of stuff and especially on these two-lane Canadian highways always stuff going on like this it's sad but these roads are a little dangerous but you know maybe we don't have the population to warrant a four-lane divided highway yet but man it would sure be nice it'd save a lot of lives and a lot of trips to the hospital you know a lot of accidents insurance claims everything everyone would benefit from bigger highways but you know we're we're smaller in population i, I get why they don't want to build they're very expensive looks like they're gonna let us buy here Slowly creep by. See what's going on. There's somebody here directing traffic. Oh yeah, there he is. And these LED lights on these emergency vehicles are so bright, right? I can't even see the officer standing here. I don't know if he's waving me on or not. I'm just following traffic. Okay, here he is. Okay, he's telling me to go through. There he is. He's waving me through. Okay. Oh, well, there's two ambulances here. Yikes, I don't know what happened. The railway here. No idea what happened there. There was no cars crushed up or maybe they towed away the cars already, I don't know. There was a tow truck there. Well, I'm running pretty low on fuel. I was gonna try to get to Cochrane in Ontario, but I don't really want to push it much further. I'm at an eighth of a tank. So, found a spot here in uh, whatever town this is in Quebec. I'll fuel her up here. Love to find a Timmy's, but I haven't seen a Timmy's all day. It's been really weird. I've had to double check, make sure I'm still in Canada more than once. No Timmy's today. They don't got DEF here. <laughs> Let the world know that I am fueling. Proclaim it to the e-log world. 
let them know what I'm doing because the government, you know, is always nosy. What you doing, Trucker Josh? Why'd you stop? What are you doing? I have to know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take you with me. Let's go and grab some go-go juice. Here's our fancy mechanism thingamajigger. You put the fancy little fancy thinger in there. It asks you a bunch of fancy questions. And then you tell it what pump you want to use. And you use pump selected. And then you go and put your card back in your truck before you drop it or forget. So this side here is the main. These pumps you have to hold the entire time because they don't have the little clicker in there that uh, holds it for you. And we're in Canada here, so you can only do one side at a time anyway. So I always do the satellite side first. Then once you're done the satellite, you can move on to the main. And once the main's done, ah, you're done. I gotta sit here and hold this the whole time. This is very uncomfortable. What does it even say? We bought 558 liters, almost 559 liters. See, and you gotta hold it the whole time and they definitely don't want you to do that. Say pretty clearly right here, si vous play ne bloquez pas le poigny. Don't do that. So I went inside for a coffee and they have this Java stop, which is usually pretty good. It'll do the trick, I think. I've been looking for a Timmy's all day. I found the one when I just left Montreal at a rest area that had a terrible, a terrible parking situation. And uh, it's hard to get in there. Oh, this is, uh-oh, time to refill my sanitizer. Okay, well, there's something to do. Uh, yeah, I found a Timmy's there, but all day today, we've been driving for like seven hours. Not one Timmy's. I don't know what this world is coming to, but I don't know if I want to live in it. Wow. Quebec, you got to up your Timmy game on the on the, on the back roads. Well, they're not even really a back road. It's the, it's the main Trans-Canada from Montreal to, uh, I guess it would be uh, Highway 11 in Ontario through Val d'Or and stuff. No Timmys. It's concerning. Like, I'm a little bit worried. As for my sanitizer, I got this bottle once and I've been reusing it because it's really handy. It's just like nice and small. I can just like tuck it up there, right? And it it's just squirts right out there. I've got my arsenal in here. I've been refilling it with this one right now, but I've got a whole bunch from when the, the sickness first hit. I've got all kinds of sanitizers in here and check this out. I'm still going through them. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, another one of those. I've used through, I've gone through quite a bit of them already. Now I'm just trying to, okay, I got a whole bunch of these. This is what Flying J was first selling, but it's liquid, right? It doesn't work very good in these squirt bottles. But I also have this little spray bottle here of hand sanitizer. It works well in there. If it comes down to that, that's all, that's my backup. The spraying hand sanitizer, but that's not as convenient as the gel. And this one here too. I'm going to be using the rest of this now, I guess to fill this back up after stock up again sometimes. But everywhere you go, now remember at the beginning, hand sanitizer was like gold. You couldn't find it anywhere. Now it's absolutely everywhere. Everywhere you go, they have like a whole shelf and a section dedicated to all the different hand sanitizers. So I don't feel so bad about having all these now. I need them on the road. Every, every time I, I get back in the truck, sanitize my hands. Cause I, I don't know what I touched. You know, it's a good habit to be in, I think. It's, yeah, I'm just gonna put you right there. Oh, I've also got this. Uh, this is the good stuff, but it's gone already. I'm just saving the bottle because it's got a nice little carrying thing that I can use, right? It's like the one-step hand sanitizer. All right, so let's fill this bad boy back up. All right. These are really nice to refill because it's got a little squirt thing on there too, right? So you just, you don't want to overfill it because that makes a mess. Believe me, I know. And you just fill her back up. Come on now. Where's the top? Oh, it's going to be this whole thing. 
pretty much it. That's the end of that one. Garbaggio! There you go. Just put that back in there. Already, and this lasts me a couple of weeks. At least, so. Oh, enough of all that. We still got five and a half hours available to us to drive, and I... Five hours and 30 minutes of remaining drive time. Excuse me. I was just telling them that. Exactly, five and a half hours available to us. I'm going to use it. I'm going to get at least up to Kappa's casing. I think that's where I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to try to go to Kappa's casing. They have a flying J there, then I'm going to have a shower. All aboard! Diesel, you're in here, I didn't forget you. There you are. Good boy, you got water? I better check his water dish. You got water. All right, buddy. Let's rock and roll, man. One of these trucks beside me came and parked, like, literally, literally inches from me. Why do you got to park so close, man? It's a massive parking lot. That's what I mean. You don't paint lines in a parking lot. It's a gravel parking lot. No one paints lines. And everybody's all confused. parking spot for us here it's 12 30 in the morning here eastern time oh yeah i see parking spots okay good approaching destination in 200 meters it's right here sneaking up on us driven about 600 miles today here is our resting place all right on there's lots of spots Good, 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 good. You have arrived at your destination. Spots there, there's spots there, there's spots over there. Cool, I get to even pick who my neighbors will be. Well, Diesel, that's a wrap. You shake a paw? Shake a paw? Job well done, good sir. Job well done. Time to go to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I had a lot of footage, so I don't know how much of it I'm going to keep in there. Otherwise, the video is going to be like an hour long. But uh, the fall colors in Quebec. Wow. Fantastic. And we drove a full day. It was 985 kilometers, so about 600 miles. We got a little more than that to do yet to get home so i won't get all the way back tomorrow but i can't unload until the next day have i told you already they're gonna unload me on saturday and tomorrow's friday so i got some time to get back i'll get as far as i can tomorrow then i'll just have a little bit to go and then they'll unload me saturday afternoon or early morning or late morning whenever i get there and then we'll be going home for a few days we have a lot of work to do at home yet a lot of organizing a lot of like i said downsizing and uh more settling in getting used to our new home so hope you join us tomorrow take care don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment hit the like button or the dislike button your choice i'll see you tomorrow